There are a number of economists and other figures in history that are associated, by themselves or by others, with the ideology of capitalism. Among these are Adam Smith, Ludwig von Mises, Friedrich Hayek, Ayn Rand, and Milton Friedman. However, all five were not for individual sovereignty and a voluntary order where security, arbitration, and reputation are goods traded on the market. Instead, they advocated a rulership of some over others in the name of peace, a glaring contradiction incompatible with capitalism. On top of this, Smith was also for the monopolistic state to produce roads, bridges, canals, harbors, coinage, a postal service, hallmarking of gold and silver, quality regulation of wool and linen cloth, regulation of paper money notes, regulation of bank trades, public and compulsory education, publicly funded religious instruction, protection of intellectual property, and more. Hayek was for the state production of roads, education, a social safety net, theaters, sports grounds, certification of professions, building regulations, food regulations, factory safety and health regulations, restriction on the sale of dangerous goods, including drugs, and more. Friedman was for the state production of roads, city parks, and the protection of intellectual property. And if a state had a central bank, which he did finally end up being against, he advocated it steadily inflate and intervene heavily during a depression. Rand was for the protection of intellectual property. Mises did not advocate additional state interventions.